Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on convolution integral. In this video, we will consider a numerical on convolution integral. The task is to find the in convolution integral of the two given signals x of t and h of t, wherein x of t is equal to e to the power minus 2t u of t and h of t, the impulse response, is equal to u of t plus 2. Before I consider uh, finding the convolution integral, the very first task is to sketch the signals x of t with respect to t and h of t with respect to t. So first let me consider that task of sketching and later I'll consider the finding the convolution integral. So how does x of t look like? If you look here, it is e to the power minus 2t u of t. So first consider uh, sketching e to the power minus 2t. What is e to the power minus 2t? It is an exponential. Is that a growing exponential or a decaying exponential? As it is um, getting multiplied with minus 2t. So it must be a decaying exponential which looks something like this. Which exists from minus infinity till plus infinity. Such a signal is getting multiplied with u of t. So what is the result? u of t exists only from 0 to infinity. Hence the negative part gets vanished. So if I want to sketch uh, x of t. Uh, from minus infinity till 0, I don't get anything. It is a 0. I get the signal that is only from 0 to infinity and uh, which is uh, going to be an exponential signal, decaying exponential. So this signal I would call it as e to the power minus 2t into u of t. So this is how x of t looks like. The next task is to sketch h of t. I need to sketch h of t with respect to t. How does that signal uh, look like? It is u of t plus 2. What is u of t? u of t is a unit step signal and u of t plus 2 is nothing but the shifted version of the unit step signal. Where it has been shifted? It has been shifted to the left by minus 2. So this I would uh, sketch it as minus 1, uh, minus 2. So if I want to sketch uh, u of t plus 2. So it would look uh, something like this. So it exists, it starts from minus 2 and it extends till uh, plus infinity. So if I need to sketch that, it would look something like this. So this is how the signal uh, h of t uh, looks like. So this signal exists till plus infinity. So this is how the given signals look like. The next task is I need to find the convolution integral. So how do I find that? For that I have the formula. So what is that formula? Now let me write that. y of t is equal to x of t convolved with h of t. So what is x of t convolved with h of t? For this it is tau equal to minus infinity to infinity integral of x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. So what are these signals? I need to sketch it first. So what is x of tau? Whatever is being given it is only x of t. So how do I get that? Replace every t with tau so that I would get x of tau. Next task is I need to sketch h of t minus tau. What is that? I, I have got a h, h of t. So what I do is I'll take the reflection of that so that I would get h of t minus tau. So later, later I can find the convolution integral of those two signals. So first uh, let me consider the concept of sketching x of tau and h of uh, tau first later h of uh, t minus tau. Uh, uh, let me just get x axis and uh, y axis. So this signal I would call it as x of tau. This is there with respect to tau. So let me consider another x axis and y axis. So this signal I would call it as h of tau. So this signal has been plotted with respect to the variable tau. So how does uh, x of tau look like? So I said it is the same signal. Minus infinity till 0 it is going to be 0. And from 0 onwards it is going to be a decaying exponential. So this is how it looks like. Earlier it was e to the power minus 2t. Now I would call it as e to the power minus 2 tau u of tau. u of tau, the amplitude of that is going to be 1. Hence I don't write it over here. Is that okay? So now h of tau, how does that signal uh, look like? It is also going to be the same as earlier. So here I would 
call this signal so this is a unit step signal which is been shifted to the left by minus 2 i said so that is how this signal looks like this is h of tau so this signal goes till uh, infinity so this is minus 2 and this is minus 1 0 these are the signals but what actually i want i want h of t minus tau so i consider this signal i'll shift it i'll reflect it so that i would get uh, h of t minus tau so let me consider uh, sketching of the final signal so this i would call it as h of t minus tau once i sketch that i can find the convolution integral yes so this signal i would call now as h of t minus tau which has been uh, sketched with respect to the variable uh, plus tau. So if I take the reflection of this, how does that signal look like? The reflection of that signal indicates that uh, the, uh, whatever uh, minus 1, minus 2, they become now plus 1, plus 2. And the shape of the signal is going to be something like this. So reflected version, I need to take, the, I need to draw the mirror image of the original signal. So if I do that, this is how it is going to look like. Yes, this is how the signal h of t minus tau looks like. So this signal, I would call it as h of t minus tau. So now I got the signal and I got both the signals. Now I can find the convolution integral. So wherever the point, uh, uh, the point where tau is equal to 0 and I would call this as tau is equal to t. The point where it is 0 I would call it as tau equal to t. And what must this point be? So this I would call it as the point where it is 0 I would call it as tau equal to t. So this must be tau equal to t plus 2. Very simple. So this point I would call it as uh, tau equal to t plus 2. So once I name it, I can find the convolution integral very easily. So this is again a, one of the very important steps in finding the convolution integral. So naming the variable, uh, whatever uh, uh, upper leg and lower leg. So here at the minus infinity, I cannot name anything and the signal is stopping at 2. I can name this. I would name it as t plus 2. So once it is been named, I can find the integral. So how do I find the convolution integral? The concept is that I keep x of tau very constant and I take h of t minus tau to the extreme left, multiply them and find the integral. And again, uh, move this signal h of t minus tau to the extreme right, again find the integral of those two signals. So that is the method. Uh, now I consider the method. So what I do is, I'll take t plus 2 this to the extreme left so that I get the first limit. So what is that? When I would write when t plus 2, when t plus 2 is made less than 0, what is going to happen? When I make t plus 2 less than 0, 0 of x of tau, that means this signal getting shifted to the left. Is that okay? So when I make t plus 2 less than 0, I am going to get the first limit. So how does that signal look like? Shall I draw it? So it is going to be much uh, clear if I draw it. So let me consider x axis and y axis. So this signal, let me call this as uh, y of tau with respect to tau. So what is uh, x of tau? I said x of tau is going to remain same in the entire process of convolution integral, which is a decaying exponential. It remains as a decaying exponential. And how does uh, h of t minus 2 looks like now? So I said I have to take it uh, to the left of x of tau. I made t plus 2 less than 0. So in that region, I need to draw h of t minus tau. So how does that look like? So this is how it looks like. Yes, I'm done almost. So this is t plus and this was 0. So now I need to multiply these two signals. So if I multiply such a signal, do I, am I going to get anything? The answer is no, because h of t minus tau exists on to left side and wherein h of x of tau does not exist. Next thing is, x of tau exists on to right hand side and there I don't get any h of t minus tau. So hence, if I write the output y of tau, uh, in, indeed it is y of t, y of t is equal to 0. The multiplication of x of tau and h of t minus tau is equal to 0. Is that okay? So that is very important and it is quite evident as you can see here. There is no common position wherein I can integrate. So hence y of t must be 0. 
uh, one more important point is uh, I have written t plus 2 less than 0. If I want to write it in terms of t, so take uh, 2 on to the right hand side, it is going to be t less than or equal to minus 2. So this is also important. So once it is been done, so now I can move further. So what next I do is when t plus 2, so I'll take that t plus 2, if it is made greater than or equal to 0, what I'm going to get? Are you getting it? So t plus 2 I have considered, uh, I made it uh, less than 0 and I got the integral as 0 and now I'll make t plus 2 greater than 0. Are you getting it? So previous limit was when it is made uh, less than 0. So now what I'm doing, I'm making it uh, greater than 0. Under this condition, how does uh, the signals look like. For that I need to draw the uh, image so that I can understand uh, much uh, easily. So I'll uh, get x-axis and y-axis. So I would call this as the final signal, the output signal y of tau which is drawn with respect to tau and I said uh, uh, the original signal x of tau. x of tau would remain same. I'm, it is not going to change any further. Yes, it is going to be a decaying exponential. It, it, it will remain in that way. This is e to the power minus 2 tau. So what happened to h of t minus tau? It has been shifted to the right. It, t plus 2 is made greater than 0. In the sense it has been moving to the right. So how does that look like? So for that let me consider uh, the different color so that I uh, can we can understand it uh, much better. So this signal now I would call it as h of t minus tau which is being shifted to the right. Are you getting it? Yes. This is how the signal, uh, both the signals look like now. Yes. This signal is h of t minus uh, tau wherein the amplitude is going to be 1. So this is the co uh, am I getting the any common region here? The answer is yes. So that I can find the integral. So this is the common region which I am getting it now. So earlier uh, this was uh, 0 with respect to x of uh, tau and with respect to h of t minus tau. So this point was uh, t plus uh, 2. So now uh, under this condition when t plus 2 is made a greater than 0, I can find the convolution integral. So I am going to get the expression for y of t. So it was integral, the expression I will consider minus infinity till infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. So now I need to change that limit. Where I am going to get the positive answer, I mean uh, the answer for convolution integral, the common region, it starts from 0. The lower limit is going to be 0. y of t is equal to integral 0 till t plus 2, till the upper limit. It is not infinity, rather it is upper limit t plus 2. So in this region I am going to get a common, uh, I am going to get uh, both the signals uh, which exist in this region. So that I can multiply them, I can find the convolution integral. So what is x of tau? x of tau is e to the power minus 2 tau. And what is h of t minus tau? h of t minus tau is 1. I need to integrate with respect to tau, I'll write uh, d tau. So if I find this simple integration, I'm going to get the answer for the convolution integral. So anyone can do this integral. So the scope, the onus is not on finding the integration. It is rather writing this, uh, this uh, uh, image and trying to understand how to write the limits. That is very important over here. If you can understand this, you have understood the entire concept of convolution integral. Yes, now we have written that. So let me uh, integrate this. e to the power minus 2 tau. I need to integrate that with respect to uh, tau. So e to the power minus 2 tau divided by minus 2. This is what I am going to get. I need to put the limit later from 0 to t plus 2. So anyone can do this as I said earlier. So here I am going to get uh, e to the power minus 2 in place of tau. I need to place t plus 2. So this uh, uh, divided by minus 2. So later I need to put a negative of this and I need to put uh, 0 in place of tau. I need to plot uh, 0. So here it is minus 2, minus 2 and this minus becomes plus. So it becomes uh, 1 by 2. And here uh, e to the power uh, 0 it is. e to the power 0 is nothing but uh, 1. So one can understand this. So if, if you want I can take uh, 1 by 2 out. I am going to left with, I am left with 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into bracket 
t plus 2. So this is what the expression for uh, y of t finally under the condition when t plus 2 is made greater than 0. So again I'll say it t plus 2 greater than or equal to 0 and I will take a 2 to the right hand side I am going to get t greater than or equal to minus 2. Is that okay? Both the conditions are same. So finally I will write the expression for therefore y of t it takes two values under two different conditions. So I need to write both. Y of t is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into bracket t plus 2 under the condition when t is made greater than or equal to minus 2. Is that correct? So let me go up and check. Yes, t is made greater than or equal to minus 2. And it is going to be equal to 0 when t is made less than minus 2. So this is the final expression for the convolution integral y of t. So this is how we find the convolution integral of any two given signals. So in this numerical I have explained everything step by step. Hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I will definitely answer and address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on convolution integral and uh, even on signals and systems. Thank you everyone for watching.